What you guys, it's that time again. Patch Tuesday for March is here. And you can see Microsoft have patched 82 major security flaws and vulnerabilities in Windows 10, which is pretty worrying, to be honest with you. Every time there's a patch Tuesday, we get some major flaws uh, with Windows 10. And these are critical uh, flaws which allow remote uh, connectivity to your PC to take control. And uh, there's some other stuff in here as well that affects uh, Windows itself. So you can see the big bunch of updates coming down here. And uh, if you're one of these people that don't update, obviously you're going to be vulnerable to these uh, security flaws. So it's always advisable to get security updates. Now you can see I've got my update set to uh, manual updates rather than automatic update. Now, again, another thing I want to make clear here, these are security updates to fix security issues with Windows 10. These are not feature updates. So these are for security reasons. And these are the ones that you want to keep updated all the time because that's important because it will leave your system vulnerable to hackers and other uh, nasties out there if you don't keep your security updates updated. So don't get the two confused, okay? Now I'm going to need to do a reboot here and it does take a couple of reboots to get these updates installed. So you can see I've already rebooted the system and I've done the update again because I've got mine set to manual. And basically I'm going to need to restart the system again to get these downloaded and installed on the system. Now if you're having trouble installing updates, you can always manually download and install these as well, which I'll show you how to do a little bit later on but basically i'm going to run this uh, update and then restart the pc again so we get these fully installed so i'm going to go back into the updates and security one more time just to make sure everything is downloaded and installed on my system it did take a bit of time to uh, get these installed so be patient you will see a screen that's static for quite a while and that's because it's installed in these in the background do not turn off your computer because you're going to run into issues okay so be patient they're quite uh, long installs for these updates now like i said if you're having issues updating you can always head over to the microsoft update catalog and download these manually by typing in the number here and doing a search for these and downloading them manually and installing them onto your system if you're having issues getting these downloaded and installed on there this makes it a lot more easy as well and sometimes these go in uh, easier than some of the automatic updates that you may have coming down on your system so there's plenty of them out there to download if you want to do a search for these and basically this will allow them to be uh, installed on the system manually of course you only need to do this if you're having issues uh, downloading and installing updates via the automatic method in Windows 10. I'll leave the list for all these patches and vulnerability updates from Bleeping Computer in the video description so you can see here. The critical ones are lined out in red. You can see Internet Explorer, uh, memory uh, corruption, vulnerability, and it gives you the link there where you can click on it and read it as well. They're all listed down here. There's a bunch of them here in red which are critical that need uh, updating as well. 82 vulnerabilities in total. You can see some of them are related to Microsoft Exchange Server. They're still having issues with Microsoft Exchange Server remote uh, connection and code issues here. So they're going to be updating all of that as well. And again, coming down here, we do have some uh, man in the middle attacks on here as well, and also some other bits and pieces for security uh, vulnerabilities that have been patched on the Patch Tuesday for March. So what I will do is I'll leave the link for this so you can have a good read up and uh, click on these if you're interested in that sort of stuff. And uh, again, we'll take a quick look at these. So you can see Microsoft Exchange Server Remote Code uh, Execution Vulnerability. This is a critical one. This seems to be a reoccurring problem because there was issues with this the last time they did a patch. And of course, there is a script that Microsoft have released also, which obviously deals with the proxy logon. And you can run that script to test for vulnerabilities and things like that. I'll leave the links for all this stuff in the video description as well. And the United States Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, which is your CISA, strongly recommends that all organizations utilize this script to check if their servers have been compromised. And uh, this is the script right here. 
you can see it CSS uh, dash exchange and you can run this and uh, you can read all about it on that web page if you're running a business you can run this to see if you've been compromised or not and the other one is the Internet Explorer memory corruption vulnerability which has been now patched as well which uh, when you will get with the update and again you can uh, just giving you the information here so you can check it out uh, but basically all you need to do is really update your operating system now this seems to be an ongoing problem with windows 10 they're still having large uh, quantities of security patches every single month this is 82 this month which is a uh, patch tuesday in march and again they have been fixed hopefully we will see the end of these very shortly i'm not too sure we will but let's hope so anyway anyway with that said i think that's going to be about it for this video uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I will leave all the information in a video description. Don't forget, patch your PCs as soon as you can, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.